started rolling. Um, what is melanin and what is carbon? Tell us about those two minerals or whatever they are. Melanin is not a mineral. Okay. Melanin is a word that was used to describe a certain biological function. But that particular identification or category or thing, melanin, is a European identification of what they think activates those neurons in our body that makes us black. But when you break down our body, our biological structure into what we would have to put it in, which is chemistry, biochemistry, melanin has no place. It's not to be found. What is found in the body that is attributed to melanin is carbon. Carbon not only determines the quality of life in black folks, carbon determines the quality of life in every living plant that exists that is natural. If carbon is absent, there's no life. Melanin, what is it? I don't know. Well, why are white people trying to get some? It's a Greek word, melanos. <laughs> well, white folks talk about protein. What is protein? They say one of the 19 amino acids, the building blocks of life. But I know for a fact that that is not a true statement. Because protein, if it was the building block of life, what happened to the gorilla that lives 180 years without eating anything that's contained protein? Unless they're going to say that the plants contain protein too. They're always saying things. And because we have no laboratories Thank you. to investigate those things, then we have to swallow it hook, line, and sinker. Miss Frances Welsing mentioned melanin. And I asked her, what is this thing? And I know she could not adequately answer the question because she was trained by someone European. So when you are trained by a European and told these things, you have to regurgitate these things. But, no. They are completely in error. Okay, we're going to take a little break for the phone. We have to be careful. Remember, it is like a brother recommended that you use comfrey for your bones. That is in the books. I from a European philosopher from a European philosophical base. But when you look at the comfrey bit, you find that comfrey contains starch. Again, another European philosophy. Melanin falls under the same category. It is a belief, not a reality. I was told in Washington, D.C. that I was violating one of the most sacred code or law of, of nutrition when I deprive a kilo stroud of protein. So I asked Dr. Steinberg and Dr. Glutt at the Georgetown Pediatric Hospital, did you give her protein five times a day? You did. Was she under your care for two years? Yes. Now, she did not receive any of those things that you call protein, and she no longer has sickle cell anemia. Mm. So where is the validity of this thing we call protein? Is it equity or is it deficit? We don't know. This is why Dr. Sebi, when he embarked on this journey of healing, many was asking me, well, why are you so concerned with the scientific aspect of this thing? I say it is necessary not to heal. To heal it is necessary to understand the scientific aspect of it. But you must understand the herb that corresponds with the disease that is manifesting. And the only way you could do that in the Western world, and to prove that, that you would be respected as someone that could be of usefulness, is to in 
enhance oneself with the words that describe certain things. And that is the science of biochemistry. I had to, because my challenges would be from a scientific base. And if I didn't understand science, then I would be lost. And they would gain momentum when they should not. So I decided to go into the scientific understanding of these things we call herbs. And what we found, that there is nothing on the planet that assimilate and could be of usefulness, save that substance is electrical. And the only electric substance on the planet is a natural plant. Not comfrey, golden seal, peppermint, aloe vera, and the rest, they are hybrids. But how many brothers and sisters in America or any way in the world qualifies to offer a challenge when we have nothing to test that which we are given for validity? No, I do not subscribe to melanin or to comfrey. So we have to again go back to the drawing board. The Usha research disregard the word melanin. For instance, if melanin determines life, why is it then that when people come to us with nerve problems, with energy problems, we give them the substance known as iron, which is a mineral, straining that iron with carbon, hydrogen and oxygen, the CHO chain is the chain of life. Carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Melanin has no place in that biochemical structure. So I'm very extremely sorry. Okay.